street lamps and furniture, buses, cars, vans, men, women, babies in a perambulator, soldiers, guns, cannons, even shrubs and trees. Here is a complete cityscape, an urban polis, beautifully laid out, landscaped, peopled, with the streets and the buildings imagined rather than represented. This curious miniature streetscape brings to us an unexplored aspect of the progressive artist, S.K. Bakre, who alone among the group was not just a sculptor, but also mendacious when it came to materials and their use. Acknowledged as an important sculptor, Bakre also painted, designed jewellery, made his own tools to aid his craft, and held a number of jobs in London that other Indians in the 50s and 60s would have balked at. Bakre was fastidious when it came to his practice. These stunning tiny sculptures, some as minuscule as 0.38 centimeters, others no more than a few centimeters, were first made in clay before being cast in metal. Each is finely detailed without any flaws. Their dimensions clearly indicate the artist's need to provide a perspective in the finished task. Bakre left Bombay for London in the 1950s, but returned a few decades later to settle in a village in coastal Maharashtra, almost forgotten by India's art fraternity. In recent years, his importance has been re-established and works by the artist sought after, leading to a discovery of his amazing journey and unusual grasp and range of his work. This installation has been imagined and composed by DAG to allow visitors to view his mastery on the sculptured object set against a white surface to ensure that there are no distractions to our understanding and appreciation of his oeuvre.